Hi everyone. Here's a story from Scotland and Ireland about giants and somebody being tricked. It's called Finn McCool. Many hundreds of years ago, the north of Ireland was home to a giant known as Finn McCool. Despite his large size and huge strength, McCool was a kindly giant who enjoyed living peacefully with his wife Una. However, he had one great rival who lived across the sea in Scotland. His name was Ben and Donner, the Red Man. Ben and Donner spent all day and night shouting insults across the waves to Finn McCool, until one morning McCool decided he could take it no more. He broke off some rocks and started throwing them into the sea to build a pathway across the sea to Scotland. And that's what we call the Giant's Causeway. When he had finished, he was quite exhausted, but he yelled at Ben and Donner to come to Ireland and fight him once and for all. However, when mighty Finn McCool caught sight of Ben and Donner in the distance, he realised that the Scottish giant was twice his size. Though McCool could easily fit 50 men in his hands, Ben and Donner looked like he could lift a hundred or more. McCool regretted picking a fight, and he ran home to his clever wife Una, who always knew what to do. Quick as you like now, she urged her husband. Go and tear down two trees and fetch your axe, some nails and your hammer. McCool dashed outside and tore two trees out of the hillside and then he presented them to Una. Now, carve a sharp point in the end of one tree and cut the other tree into long planks. When you've finished, lean the pointed tree against the wall and nail the planks to our bed to look like a cradle. McCool was puzzled, but he knew it was wise to do as his wife said. Right, get into the bed now and I'll wrap the blankets around you and a sheet around your head. You need to pretend that you're a baby. McCool curled up in the cradle and sucked his thumb. Close your eyes, Una told him, and when you hear Ben and Donner sit down, let out a big wail. Soon enough, Finn McCool heard the thumping steps of Ben and Donner coming towards his fort, followed by the thud of a heavy fist on the door. Una opened the door and said in a stern voice, Well now! There's no need to bang so hard. You'll wake the baby. If it's Finn you're after, then he's out hunting. But you can come in and wait if you like. Ben and Donner entered the great hall and Una said, Would you like to put your spear next to my husband's? She pointed at the tree with a sharp end and Ben and Donner was startled to see its size. He put his smaller spear right next to it, then sat down heavily on the bench, nervously crushing a boulder between his fingers. At this, Finn McCool wailed like a baby. Oh dear, said Una, the baby must be hungry. I've just made some griddle cakes. Would you like some? And she offered some to her guest. Ben and Donner accepted, but when he bit down on the griddle cake, he chipped his two front teeth, because Una had hidden an iron disc in it. Whatever's wrong with you, she exclaimed. Why, my husband eats these all the time. Even the baby eats them. She gave Finn, disguised as the baby, a griddle cake without an iron disc hidden inside. Ben and Donner saw the baby eat it without any trouble, and he started to feel most worried. Sure enough, said Una, Irish giants are famous for their extra strong teeth. Didn't you know? You should come over here and have a feel of them. Ben and Donner approached the cradle, and when he saw the giant size of the baby in it, he was horrified. He cautiously put his finger in the baby's mouth to feel its teeth, and Finn McCool bit down on it as hard as he could. Ben and Donner jumped back, roaring in pain. Goodness, he thought, if the baby is this big and strong, how gigantic must his father be? Terrified at the idea of fighting the baby's father, he made his excuses to Una and dashed out of the door, taking giant strides as he went. Finn McCool threw off his baby disguise, leapt out of his cradle and did a merry dance with Una. Ben and Honor, the red man, bounded all the way home to Scotland, kicking over the rocks in Finn McCool's path as he went. Luckily, McCool was never tormented by the Scottish giant again, and it was all thanks to his clever wife, Una, who had brains just as her husband had strength. The end.